Hey everybody and welcome to the Field Shooter's Guide where I'm going to show you some of my experiments shooting on Expedition, uh, trying to figure out how to be the best total filmmaker possible. So on this particular expedition I'm at Imja Lake in Nepal, just about 5,000 meters, and I was trying to figure out a rig that would allow me to be highly mobile, get around the places I need to be, and still cover a wide variety of different shots. So this is what I've come up with. You can see I'm using my 5D Mark III, which is a really good field shooting camera. It's weatherproofed. I've got it as a Kudo viewfinder because the light gets very high here at times. You can't really run with a monitor out in these situations because you've got to be very mobile. And I'm running my two audio tracks into a Zoom H6N. And the nice thing about that is the H6 lets you run this eighth inch cable and take two tracks directly to camera. So you don't have to sync anything in post. So right now I've got a LAV running, which is currently on myself. And then I've also got this uh, Sennheiser shotgun microphone going. So if I want to go more run and gun style, I've got a couple Kessler quick release plates set up on my rig here so I can easily pop this guy off. That'll allow me to run and gun to my heart's desire. I'm using the Edelkrone shoulder rig right now, which is nice because it folds out and you can fold it back in on itself if you need to. It gets very compact. I just hooked it up here with a little extra piece of gear from small rig that allows me to attach rails to it if I need to. The main new piece of gear that I'm using this time or trying out is this guy right here. You can see it's the Steadipod and it's marketed mostly as a Steadicam. But what I've found it's used for to be on this expedition more than anything is as a highly lightweight mobile tripod. You can see the tripod head is actually very good, especially considering the weight and the cost. And the other nice thing you can see here, I'm on a slope right now. And despite the fact that I'm on a slope, I can set these legs pretty much at any angle I need them to be. So the Steadipod has served me pretty well. It's not nearly as stable as an actual tripod. You can see it sways a little bit, even in the wind. So it's not necessarily gonna be your go-to for time lapses or for shots where you need a lot of stability. But nonetheless, you can get a pretty good shot with it. And you can get a lot of stability and a lot of mobility because of how light it is and how versatile. Then I've got a pretty good glide that I can manage with this device as a Steadicam as well. So that's my latest field update. I hope you enjoyed it and join me next time. Thanks.